Uh oh. I'm live, I hope. Uh, folks, this is Sunday. Welcome to the Margu campaign, the tri-generational campaign. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's get the rigmarole out of the way because I still haven't done it yet. So uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like phone case, a throw pillow, duvet cover, shower curtain, you know, uh, the normal stuff. Check out our shop. Uh, it's got plenty of cool stuff in there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the show next Saturday, it's a one shot or Tuesday for the talk show, M Hobo Inc, Twitter or Gmail, hit us up and we will get you on there. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that really wreaked havoc last night if you missed uh, the Calamity campaign. Uh, if you're looking for customized dice, go ahead and check them out on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Don't forget if your game stinks, ours smells like success and riches. So, you know, we don't know that. But uh, pick yourself up some adventure scents from Odd Fish Games. Uh, this one is Rowdy Tavern, which. Uh, amplifies how these guys play all the time. They also make the shine system, so if you're a budding writer and you want to write good-er than me, uh, check them out. That's the shine system. Their how-to RPG with your cat is going to Kickstarter here in the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for our announcements on that. And finally, if you're going to Gen Con and you got a few spare hours and you don't have anything to do, uh, hit up Oddfish Games. They need some help at their booth and they're willing to pay money or... Uh, swag uh so that's kind of a good deal so check those things out uh like i said today is the margu campaign aka tri-generational let's introduce you to some because uh, we have two mias right now some of the players that are going to entertain you for the next two hours we'll start with aj who are you who do you play i am aj hear me roar and i am playing felix graf and i am currently still <laughs> covered with arrows because I forgot to remove them last week and I left myself a note for this week remove arrows there's that is all there's only four there's only only four. only so you're only a small porcupine uh <laughs> next up is the senior Frank of this endeavor uh Frank senior who are you who do you play I am uh Frank senior I play leaf the lovely druid consider it <clears throat> compassionate always ready to do it uh so after you folks call roto rooter uh we'll go ahead and ask jason who he's playing today uh, i'm playing copious full bitters the third the gnome business entrepreneur uh, uh who is always ready to look at leaf sideways and go are you really saying that with a straight face hey 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 easy boy easy the love, the love of a family playing together is why this show is top drawer. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, the handsome, the gregarious uh, Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick, give us your spiel as only you can. Hi, I'm Nick and I'm playing Haggis Crapstain, the halfling rogue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're adding a few details in there this time. You know, we got, we got a strict time frame on this show. Uh, folks, if you missed last week, these guys uh, are hell-bent and determined to find the alleged dragon's horde of the dragon they, they slew. Although uh, a certain Generalissimo has... Uh, offered to take credit for such a deed. Uh, these guys uh, are on a time frame because their other endeavor, their initial endeavor, uh, rebuilding the Burnt Roadhouse, uh, has run amok with uh, government peons. And uh, they have 27 days to get to the capital of the halfling kingdom, Dre Glary, in order to go ahead and stake their claim set down their deposit and make sure that they and they alone are the rightful owners of Smidgey's Roadhouse 2. Uh, but in order to do that, they're going to need some cash. Uh, their idea was to head into the Maw of the Chasm Peaks, where they just got done nearly dying against spiders. Uh, 
fortunately or unfortunately as the case may be there are 71 other group or 71 other adventurers or would-be adventurers seeking the treasure as well last week uh felix peppered with arrows uh had the misfortune of running into a party of first level halflings while the rest of the group dealt with cockatrice uh today put it put it to his seventh level ass i might add <clears throat> yes he uh, you got your ass handed to you royally on a silver platter uh and it didn't help that copious decided to take a uh, little paralysis nap as well so uh but but these guys are bound to determine they're going to be running this country <laughs> irrelevant that the cr1 creatures running amok all over them uh taught them a lesson uh last time uh these guys were wandering through a nest of perilous peaks uh trying to find this they have no clue no idea no information uh, they're just hoping to get lucky because that is their mantra yes. wasn't that the name of a tv series get lucky perilous peaks Probably. Uh, you know what? I uh, literally plagiarize and steal most of my ideas from pop culture. <laughs> I, have, I have no shame in admitting that. I come up with very few good ideas. Uh, unlike you guys, which are full of them. So, last full of something. Yeah, full of something. Uh, last time you guys saw competitors over to the right, uh, there were three entrances. You guys chose the middle one. Uh, the competitors to the right got stuck at a dead end, so you got a little bit uh, lofty on them. You found some buildings that had fallen in. Folks, uh, the Chasm Peaks are not so much mountains as they are uh, destruction of a plane, thereby creating sunken mountains. And that is where they're going, into the deep dark. Uh, as you guys rounded the edge, uh, Felix spotted the halflings. Everybody else spotted the honeycombed caves with the cockatrice. Uh, it ended in victory. That's that's all that really matters. It ended in victory. You guys hopped across a broken aspect. Uh, you had the opportunity to go up uh, or down. Uh, after your rest, you guys have chosen to go down, if I am not mistaken. Correct? Uh, we begin day... Three, day three we begin uh, on their handy dandy little chart. Uh, you guys are going down, down, don't bring me down. Uh, this, uh, this travel area is a little bit more narrow uh, than what you're used to. Uh, and that means more falling shale because you guys are going to be going down at a steeper angle here. Uh, and as we all know from playing D&D from for years, uh, the deeper you go, the greater the riches. And there's almost no danger uh, the farther you go down. So as you begin, <coughs> I know uh, Robert of Zeppelin usually leads this troop, uh, but he is not currently available. Who wants to be the brave soul? I'll take the lead, I guess. Felix? No, I was going to say Leaf should continue leading. He was leading last week. <laughs> yep, I'll lead. <laughs> Who's number two? Felix? <laughs> yeah, I guess Felix will be number two. I ah. guess you're the you're the shits, aren't you? Uh, the good news I is the shit. number two came up. Uh, you roll the dexterity because here come the shale. Damn. <sighs> Oh, natural 20. Hell uh, yeah. Uh, you make yourself sparse, pressing yourself up against it as a very large, very dangerous sheet of shale cascades from above uh, and goes directly down into the darkened depths. Everybody roll perception. I feel like we're walking underneath a guillotine. A light. 22. Natural 20 again. I'm burning Ooh. them all on the easy rolls. 11. Uh, Felix uh, immediately makes himself scarce, looks straight up, and you see flying creatures uh, releasing the sheets of shale. Leaf, you catch Felix's eyes going skyward, match him, and boom, Diata, uh, you also see them. They look like flying monkeys of some kind. 
Can I see them? Can Copia see them? <clears throat> if the other two point them out, everybody will be able to see them. Well, I'll point them out. Yeah, I think I'll point them out too. <laughs> how, how far away are they? They're about 120 feet up, and there appear to be eight. Are they damn many? We need to move. Us? Are they aiming for you? Hell yeah, they are. <laughs> okay. Well, to be fair, they're aiming for Felix at this point in time. Well, they could be accidentally dropping them. You never know. They could be. You're never quite sure. <laughs> Those clumsy monkeys. <laughs> I don't say we need to get moving. Uh huh. I agree with that. First thing I'm going to do is take these arrows out of me if I haven't already. I, I was going to say, you have not mentioned that. That's probably why they decided to go for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the monkey's natural enemy is the porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Uh, as everybody watches Felix cry just a little bit with a lone tear as he's yanking out the shafts of the arrows, uh, the, the word is... We need to hustle around the corner. Now, keeping in mind, this trail curves. Uh, and judging from this crappy map I made, it curves a lot. So, uh, Leaf, if you're going to lead them forward. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. There's five of you now. Uh, the monkeys squeal in delight. Uh, and they are busily working on another piece of shale. Uh, that will cause you, Leaf, to make the save. The deck save, you said? Yep. Uh, 15. <laughs> uh, you feel it slide across your nose, uh, and it, again, was a big sheet. These guys must be working for a billiard table company because these pieces are large. Uh, however... You continue to uh, move quickly along. Now, uh, the biggest ones are Leaf and Robert, correct? Yep. <coughs> uh, Manfang's big, too. Yes, Manfang's big. I doesn't, I'm not sure if he's going to be... There he is. Right, right well, you here. don't have to say it out loud to make him he's feel so bad. He's so big, you can't even see his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kofi's supposed to kill one of the monkeys. Uh, you're going to have to climb up to get one. Uh... What? I, you said 120 feet. That's the range of my spell. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. They're all just, bulked together, chipping away. All right. Two blasts, Eldritch Blast coming out. At the monkeys? At the monkeys. So 25 and 13. Sure. You hit the Sioux monsters. Both or one? Both hit. So are they like straight above us? Uh, they're straight above Leaf. So when he shoots them out of the air, they're going to collide with Leaf. Well, I'm just worried if I, like, shoot my bow up in the air, could it come back down? Uh, that, that, is, that is called gravity, so yes. That's called guaranteed <laughs> to happen. Yes, <laughs> yes. Your, uh, your schoolwork uh, needs some improvement in the aerodynamics field, but you did get that one, so full, <laughs> full credit. Uh, yes, anything you shoot up must come down. 12 points of damage. To each? Uh, one. That's total. Five and seven. Okay. Yeah, it's still alive. <laughs> uh, and it howls in great pain. You shot number three of eight. Uh, not seven of nine. Three of eight. Uh, Haggis, I don't know. You, you want to risk it? Well, my bow's a little big. You'll only knock Manfang off the ledge. Well, like, what if I, like, stand it like this and put my leg on, like, the string so I move it up and then move my foot so it, like, shoots? I love this idea. I cannot tell you how much I love this idea, but I love it, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna normally shoot my arrow at the closest monkey. I've seen normally. Daffy Duck do this exact same maneuver several times. Yes. I believe it was during rabbit season. Yeah, and how, did it season. how did it work for Daffy? He it caught did not the duck. <laughs> He build it. Okay, go ahead and fire away. Are you going to shoot at the same one of the Eldridge Blast? Um, I believe so. I got a 14. 14 hits. 13 to hit these things. Okay. Good. Um, five plus. <coughs> Six. And then I don't know what the add on to that is for the bow. Special bow. Plus two. It's plus two bow. So, six, ten. Plus two to hit. Eleven, plus, twelve. 
So Plus 13. Damage. Uh, did you hit the right one? I hit the one that was closest. Uh, that is the right one. Okay. Uh, it falls. <laughs> Little trail of smoke flying off of it. Uh, unfortunately, it seems to be headed right for you guys towards Manfang. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it, man thing! Catch it! Monkey! Monkey! Goody. Well, how big is this monkey? Because if man thing. It's getting larger the closer it comes to man. <laughs> Here, or is it a gorilla? Uh, you, you know what? It, it's like an elephant. It might even be a blue whale. You aren't really sure at this point in time. Uh, man <laughs> thing, you know it's coming right at you. Uh, do you want to duck, dodge, parry, dodge, duck? I think if it's charging me, the best thing to do would be to awesomely <coughs> uh, roll away, kind you, of. You know you're on a ledge, right? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, we are on a ledge. <laughs> yeah, let me just roll off the ledge to just avoid this monkey. Uh, I, I, I will give you the TJ Hooker option of rolling out of the way if you want. Forward. Uh, no, Go downhill. Just duck. Duck. Let it hit whoever's behind you, which is Robert, I think. Can I do like they do in the circus and just jump up really high and spread my legs and it'll run under me? <laughs> Drop it, 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 it's it's God. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What circus are you watching? To, to be fair, he did join us late. So you guys are on a yeah. narrow, very narrow ledge, and there okay. are Sioux monsters, monkeys, flying monkeys, atop dropping uh, eight by four foot sheets of shale down at Leaf and at Felix. Uh, now your associates have blasted one out of the sky, and it is <sighs> tail spinning down right towards you. I think I'm just going to shrink into my turtle shell real quick. Sure. Give me a. If I can't really shrink, I'll just kind of cover my head and lean down. Sure, give me a strength save to see if you can withstand this hurtling object. <laughs> All right, let me get my dice out of my dragon sack. Um, I don't want to hear about him pulling anything out of his dragon sack. I would die. Yeah, I am. My dragon yay, yay. sack. Yay. It, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, just my dragon sack. I, 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 not. I'm going what to do I gotta roll the joke. Uh, the die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good thing to roll. Dexterity. Yeah. Or, I'm oh, sorry, okay. strength. Strength, because you, you're just covering up, so you're going to let it take a direct hit on you. Die 20, oh, yep. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you don't go hurtling over the side. That is oh, please do. 17. Uh, you know what? Uh, your turtle shell saves you in it. Whitting, ricochets off. Uh, arms and legs and tail sprawling away down into the depths. All of the monkeys above screech in anger and begin to feverishly work on a piece of shale again. New round, what do you guys want to do? Are these monkeys flying? Yes. Okay. They are flying that... monkeys 120 feet up. or about Are they throwing up. poo? Not yet. But they were. Because I have never known a monkey in your game that doesn't throw food. I would concur. And, and they are young. directly overhead. Yes. They are feverishly chipping away at shale along a ridge. Copies is shooting another one. <clears throat> Go ahead. After spending oh, the entire last combat paralyzed, Nat 20, uh, and then 23. Both hit. So, let's see. Damage, damage modifier for the crit? Not for the spell. Not for only, the spell? Only for okay. melee weapons. 14. I got to screw you guys somewhere. So 19 points of damage. Ooh, uh, you hit number two, and it does not look so good. Uh, who else has missile weapons? Hagas, I know. Uh, Robert's got them. Felix. Uh, Man, Fang's gonna throw, I don't know, his shell at him. <laughs> I, have, I, have a, I have a longbow, but I'm not going to use it because I don't feel confident that I'll shoot up and it'll come back down and hit someone. <laughs> Five minutes later, you are all caught up with the party. <laughs> How'd he get it too? Yeah, I, you, guys, you guys obviously go to the same school system. So, you know, clearly you are paying attention. <laughs> Uh, I don't care, but yes, uh, as the two youngest members have pointed out, what goes up must come down, either embedded in a body or 
just free fall. Newton's law. Arrow roulette. Should solve too, too far away. Nope. I say we keep moving forward. So I'm gonna are. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt at one of them. Sure. And uh, Felix, Felix going is going to play arrow roulette. <laughs> sure, go ahead. With an eleven to hit. And oh, I... that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Felix, was it eleven or was it two ones? It was an eleven. It's just a single shot. Well, then, I guess technically it's two ones. And yeah. Uh, leaf on the guiding bolt while I roll I hit. to see who. You roll to see who. Uh, Felix. Oh, boy. Ten. Came up 18, a five, Robert. <laughs> Eighteen. Whoever I hit, I just did 28 points to. Uh, good. Uh, Newton's law is good. Oh, I'm sorry. 18 points. My bad. My bad. I, I that last Damn 10 it. Minutes, no. I wanted everything. I got hit by a field. Oh, wait. No, it's okay. No, it's it's 22 points. Um, my bad. It comes out of the air, too, and it is headed towards Robert as well. Uh, he didn't have to say anything. Uh, so, Here's Robert. my 11 for both of you. Robert, the first <laughs> thing you notice is a monkey getting really big in the sky coming right down at you. What you don't see trailing beyond its buttocks is Felix's arrow, which went up and down. Uh, so he is in the Mercury program. So, Robert, uh, do you want to take the hit like Manfang did, or do you want to make yourself small on the wall? I, I, I already took the hit. Well, it, it hasn't landed yet. Oh, so, I thought so you So you get a saving throw versus uh, missing it or take the hit. What is saving throw? Dex miss? Dex miss. Oh, no, I got hit. <laughs> then you're going to get hit twice. <laughs> but I rolled, a, I rolled a whopping nine. <laughs> the arrow will not penetrate too deeply through the monkey, so you're only going to take half damage from Felix's arrow. So, you know, you're using it as a shield. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> I even uh, have a shield. Well, uh, you do now. It's called a Sioux monster. Uh, the good news is you only took one hit point from the arrow as it kind of pops you in the forehead. The bad news is you took seven hit points and still have the damn monkey on top of you. Uh, meanwhile, all you can hear is pew, 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 and then everybody hears <coughs> as a large piece of shale is released, headed towards Leaf. Leaf, I'll need a deck save. Robert, what do you want to do with your hairy shield, which is leaking feces? You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. I am going to cast Witch's Bolt. Okay. Right up its old, right up its kawaka. Very nice. Oh, um, that might have pissed it <laughs> off. Haggis and Manfang, you are now covered with Sioux Monster innards as <clears throat> as Robert Witch's Bolt, <laughs> his dead Sioux Monster off of him. So that's Wait, that's was not that a spell. Was that a sorcery spell? Oh, it's dead on me? I thought it was alive on me. No, it's dead. Oh, shit. I'm confu I was confused. Well, I don't want to waste the spell on that. Do you, okay, then don't waste the spell. Even I'll though just throw it off me. I don't know, Robert. You were pretty angry when that arrow from Felix hit you in the forehead. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I, would, I would say yes. You know yes. what? Go with it. I, I'll throw the spell <laughs> on it. Okay. I, uh, I thought it was alive. It's coming at me. Hey, sure. Robert. Hey, Before you, that, wipe, baby. Wipe, wipe, your, wipe the innards off your forehead. Make sure you flick them at Felix. I, I shot it with the 16. You got Oh, did, yeah. It's uh, right on top of you. Yeah, I did uh, ooh, 11 points of damage. Oh, yeah. It, it's all over Haggis and Manfang now. But not, not on magic, Felix right? yet. Thanks. Not on Felix, uh, but I rolled a two on the wild magic. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wild magic. Yeah. Let the fun begins. Oh, Jesus. 
spell amplifies. Four hundred. Hey, I rolled a two two. Let's see what's going down in the hood. This cannot go wrong. Never does. Teleports through Felix. <laughs> Straight up fifty. <laughs> what well, would be 50. better if he teleports into Felix and they become one? <laughs> I don't oh. like that idea. <laughs> I love I that idea. Scream out, I felt you inside me! <laughs> and I felt oh. nothing. <laughs> uh, I cannot see... Well, with that anus, yes. It was well used. <laughs> I cannot see squat on this one because I don't have my normal table up. Uh, 50, you say. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what's good? He starts laughing hard. He uh, teleports into one of the party members. Uh, covered in Sue Monster goo, you cry uncontrollably for the next minute. Whenever you try to speak, aka use spells, uh, you snot through your nose, and the spell <laughs> is ineffective. Uh, so you've essentially been maced by Sue Monster anus, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, Leaf, you did manage to dodge the falling shale. Uh, uh, the Sioux monsters, two of them are retreating. Uh, it's up to you guys. So there are two dead, two gone, uh, and one injured. So, uh, wait, that's five. I thought there were eight. One injured, two dead, two left, two remaining, two dead. I'm sorry, two dead. Two injured, uh, and that's it. No, two dead, two retreating, two injured, and two more. I'm shooting whatever's not injured. Uh, I don't think Haggis has been hit yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> I do shoot two bolts. I can spare one. Sure. Just I can shoot an arrow. I can shoot an arrow. I'm going to shoot the monkeys. Uh, 23 and 11. So one pew, pew. 23 and 11. I wonder what that other bolt does. Oh, that's right. Shatters more shale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's raining. Uh, six points. Uh, was that to the injured one or the other one? Uh, I said I would shoot one of the uninjured ones. Gotcha. <laughs> Start scaring them off here. Uh, one of you is going to take one or two hit points, and that's four. Haggis, odd even. Even, you take two hit points from falling stones, showering you in goodness, probably. Could I uncanny dodge? You're on a narrow ledge sandwiched <laughs> between two people. If you would like to push one of them out of the way, <laughs> I, I will rule potentially. Is he in front or behind me? Is as he close near, to me? As near as I can tell, uh, if you flip Felix and Leaf on the screen, there's your marching order. Because Leaf flip. would be one, Felix two, Copius three, Haggis four. But on all our screens, we're right next to you. Oh, it's just the way you view. Uh, so uh, oh. you would be sandwiched between Copius and Robert. Robert's having a great day, by the way. <laughs> Typical Put that day, I would say. Put so, that poo shield over him. Yeah, so if you want to do uh, uncanny dodge, roll a die. You'll be trying to swing around Copious if it's odd or swing it around Robert if it's even. Okay. Um, nine. Odd, Copious. So the good news is you went for the smallest member of the party. Uh, both of you roll a d20. <laughs> Don't roll a one. Straight up d20. I also got nine. Nineteen. So, the marching order is flipped. Haggis is now number three. Copius is number four. You do not take the two hit points of damage <coughs> as the rocks skitter off the ledge uh, unimpeded by gravity. Uh, Copius is gone. Who else wants to try something? <coughs> Go ahead, Felix. <laughs> I'd prefer he didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, seven. <laughs> there will be repercussions this time. Uh, the good news is it's a two, so it went straight up and straight down. <laughs> so give me a dodge feature there, unless you want to take the hit. No, I'll take the dodge. 
Uh, 14 to dodge? Yep, you dodge it. Ah, good. Now, keep in mind, if you fail hmm. your dodge, it could, hmm. get, it could get hairy. Uh, okay, Felix is gone. Copius is gone. Manfang, you're up. Oh, I'm up now. Hooray. These are just monkeys. <laughs> They're, yeah, they're only monkeys. <laughs> we haven't even got but by God, like that. you're going to kick the shit out of the army. <laughs> We're killing yeah. each other. <laughs> a few monkeys, and we can't stop them. They're too powerful. Oh, to be fair, you are in a limited space. Okay, so there is there, am I sandwiched as well? Is there someone in front of me and behind yeah. me? Uh, nobody behind you. Uh, Robert is in front of you. And you're still Ooh. covered in Sioux yeah. monkey guts. Or Sioux That's monster guts. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up a piece of shale and throw. How far away are they? A uh, hundred feet. I'm not going to throw a piece. I'm not going to throw a piece of shale. Then they're, they're just straight up. Thank, thank yeah. you. They're just yeah. straight up. <laughs> yeah, if I just kind of wow, yeah, straight I, I, up. You know yeah. what? I do think it. You're, I do think it. you're selling yourself short. Mm, yeah. Nah, nah, <laughs> I, think, I don't think I am. Okay. I so, think he's very untrustworthy. Worthy man, Fang. Do not listen to him. I'm merely Thank pointing him. out the options for entertainment. Uh, okay, Man Fang, uh, you pick up a piece of shale, then you, I guess, hang on to it or throw it over the side. I'm going to hang on to it. Robert <laughs> Leaf and Haggis, uh, you three are still left. What do you want to do? Could I make like an arrow with the shale, like as like an arrowhead? Uh, not right at have... the moment. <laughs> I, 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 don't you I have know. arrows still, or did you run out? I, I have uh, arrows. I'm Felix fine is going arrows, through them but... like water. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has like five new ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Now, see, so once you guys get to the dragon horde at the bottom, you'll find all of his arrows. <laughs> Why don't we keep... Oh, okay. Well, didn't they all... Like, aren't they trying to retreat right now? Just two of them. Two dead, two retreat. So why don't we keep moving? I'm fine with that. That's what I'm going to keep moving along myself. Fair enough. Robert and Leaf, are you guys want to do anything other than move? Keep moving. <clears throat> Last piece of shale. Four. Copious. Uh, I thought him and Haga switched places. Yeah, exactly. I would have been four. Yeah. But now it's him. Haggis is three. Oh. Haggis, Haggis screwed me. I, mean, I outsmarted you. I'm going to use my uncanny <laughs> dodge to punch him in the groin. Sure. <laughs> 26. Uh, do you want to move back to your original three position? I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually have uncanny dodge. I just dodged uh, the tail. Okay. Uh, you've got a new friend <laughs> as Copious <laughs> hugs your backside, Haggis. Uh, the shale cascades down slightly damaging the pathway uh, in front of Robert and <laughs> <laughs> but it is not a gap so you know you just notice it's like earmarked uh, so as everybody else takes off uh, Robert's taking off Manfang are you going to follow everybody or you want to throw that rock one one last chance <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah one last chance <clears throat> might as well I'm going to throw the rock sure is that just strength uh, dexterity Dexterity, perfect. Ooh, that's a ten, solid ten. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Uh, good news, you threw it straight up. <laughs> Do you want to take the hit, or you want to try and dodge it? <laughs> I'm gonna duck. I'm gonna turtle shell again. Can you dodge? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and give me your strength save. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Mm. Good thing I have that plus five. That's a seven. Sure. That plus five serves you well. You're now going to take hits. Yes. Uh, you're only going to take one hit point of damage as it flints off that uh, big tortoise shell. And then you continue to shuffle along to Buffalo Leaf, leading the way. Uh, you come around a bend, and you are now in another open spot. Uh, this area does have a cave, uh, but it gives you a little bit more room, gives you maybe 30 by 30 feet in an irregularly shaped area. The path continues, but at least you guys can kind of spread out here without fear of falling into the abyss. Uh, do you want to wait to see if the Sioux monsters come over the side or continue to run? Uh, keep moving. Along the path or into the cave? 
Is the cave Jeez. is the cave like? Can we not see down it? Is it just dark <coughs> when she, at I, the entrance? I, I, dark I will, and foreboding. I will look into the cave. Your dark before vision, I head on down. Your dark vision yeah. does not notice any irregularities to the range you can see. Jesus Christ. Hey, Dad, how far can you catapult a light rock? <laughs> I catapult objects at 60 foot intervals. Okay. Which is how far them? I can see to begin with. Yeah, you. So you can't. I can see it. that far, dude. And so, and you, I think the right. guys with the don't can't you guys with the uh, cloak class say uh, farther than at sixty feet? No, no they're it's, sixty foot it, too, I believe. I think it's less than that. Is it? All right, I'm going to go ahead and make my ways carefully into the cave to look around just to check it out. I mean, we're looking for a dragon horde, so we'll, we'll, we can stay on the ledge. Or do you <laughs> well, let me it? ask this: How far can a person? How far would I be able to throw like a, a small rock? hand size like a baseball well, i don't know probably center left field maybe uh so i'll give you 250 feet 250 right. i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna use one of my uh 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 cantrips cast light on a rock throw it on in the cave uh the resounding <sighs> echoing uh is intense uh, so anything inside the cave can now hear you coming. Uh, the rock tumbles in, giving you brief spotting of illumination. Uh, it appears to be naturally formed. Uh, there are no smooth edges on here. Uh, there is a lot of white viscous material on the cave floor. Okay. I don't think I want to go in this cave. Nah, well, you're first. Worried floor covered with snot or guano <coughs> or any other bodily fluid really now nah. guano is going to be the correct answer for this one yeah uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going in leaf you can see uh small covens of uh bats uh hanging on the wall sleeping don't appear to give two shits about you yeah i'm gonna turn around head back out uh, who wants to roll against uh, me to see if the Sioux monsters followed you guys over the side? I will. D12 it is. All right. Eight. Ten, baby. Uh, they do not. They have had more than enough. Uh, so you guys are on the plateau. Leaf comes out. Leaf, roll a straight up D20. If you roll a one, you got bat guano on your head. Nineteen. <laughs> Leaf comes out unscathed, points out that there's bat guano on his boots and a whole lot of bat in there. Uh, he did not see any males, uh, no Michael Keatons, no George Clooney's, just a lot of bats. A lot of bat boo-poo. Poo-poo. Uh, but the good news is uh, the Sioux Monsters did not follow you over, so you are in an area uh, of relative safety. Everybody perception check. Uh, 26. 17. 10. 17. 20. 24. Leaf, Copious, Haggis, and Robert, uh, you hear a low moaning sound coming from the edge of the precipice, uh, possibly from the depths below. Now, does it I'm going to look over the edge of where the sound seems to be coming from, see if I can see anything. Sure. Copious? Uh, yeah, I'm curious. I, I will, too. But the ledge, that trail we were following, does it like is it like sort of straight or does it go down a little bit? You guys are on a constant descent at this point. Okay, so we're getting close to going down there. Okay, uh, that's why I was Your enthusiasm is impressive. <laughs> Not accurate, but impressive. But I, can I can I make an insight roll before I look over to see if if it I think it sounds like a like a human or an animal making this noise? Sure, I'll like give a you large that. dragon, like uh, animal handling, uh, animal skills. I had twenty three on the insight. Uh, you think it's the wind? Uh, as Leaf leans over. Uh, the wafts of his hair kind of blow up. You notice that the wind is coming up, uh, and it seems. Uh, not strong, but firm. Uh, and you've felt this before. 
when you were at the old keep, Corpus Keep, um, for what that's worth. Uh, you look, you do Does not see. Smell like salt air by any chance? Uh, there is no sulfur smell, no salt. No, salt air. Yeah, nope. Okay. Does it smell, maybe on the very bottom of it, there's a giant blue whale, and this is him breathing out of his low hole. You know, it took you an hour. It. it took over an hour to get the whale up here. Am I yeah. getting no feeling like we did when we fought that dragon in the field? Nope. Okay. No All dragon. Right, I'm going to keep, keep moving. Let's keep, keep moving. moving. Cool. Keep moving. Uh, you guys continue on, and you uh, go, let's see how many hours you go. Four hours. Uh, yikes. Uh, you, you think uh, it might be nightfall. It's hard to tell down here because you are deep enough now. Sunlight barely filters in. Uh, so from here on out, you're going to need to use light spells or torches. Uh, but at the end of the travel day on three, you come to a split. Left, right. Uh, both descend odd even. Uh, six, the one on the right descends sharper. Like a, like a slide at a playground sharper? Uh, or like... Where, whereas you were 45 degrees, you are now maybe 60 degrees to the right, uh, 45 to 50 on the left. So okay. easier going to the left, uh, steeper Did, to the right. Do they both go to the same place or do we not know? No, why don't we? Uh, Everything goes to the same place in this game, straight to hell. Death, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, my suggestion: is, why don't why don't I scout uh, these paths for a short short distance and see turn if there's blue whale? Sure. No, I was thinking more like a panther. Oh, okay. Something that can see in the dark better than I can. Or like a killer whale. Those are smaller. Maybe a flying owl. Flying, maybe a oyster. Maybe a flying whale. Flying uh, whale. Like whale. Fly. Right. Really. More like an octopus. A jackrabbit? Sure. Manta ray. A centipede, maybe. Uh, there is enough room to make camp, albeit it's going to be tight. Would the rest of you guys like to make camp here? Um, sure. How much time? How much, how much shale is above us? Uh, here, uh, the mountain is kind of at an angle, so there'll be an overhang. So as long as the overhang uh, stays intact, i.e. no spells or stupidity, uh, you guys will have a roof <laughs> We're over your head. <laughs> okay, let's so make, let's a make camp. Well, if Robert <laughs> keeps casting spells, the table has uh, its own way of doing things. <laughs> Leaf, uh, which way yep. do you want to scout first? I'll get down a steep one first. Okay. How long are you going to go? Uh, I'll get down for maybe 45 minutes or so. Okay. I don't know uh, where that is. You notice that the path is a little bit wider, but it is steeper. Uh, you hear some kind of shuffling above you. You can't really make out what it is, and your uh, dark vision will not pick it up. Uh, but there's something shuffling above. Uh, you return 45 minutes later, go down the other path, yes. uh, 45 minutes later. Uh, this path is a little bit more narrow, uh, but it's not as steep. Uh, you do not hear any scuffling above. I'll go back to the camp and let them know what I heard, what I saw. After 90 minutes, uh, Leaf the Panther, not Cougar, that's something entirely different. I stayed away from that for a reason now. Well, I just opened Pandora's box. <laughs> yes, thanks a lot, sir. Uh, he comes back to report the findings. Uh, the overhang seems to be structurally intact. Uh, you can even make a campfire if you want. Everybody, perception check. A 22. Natural 20. 17. 10. Uh, even Copias hears uh, a quaint melody echoing off the walls uh something uh to la ru la ru la uh in a really Kale shitty ma. irish <laughs> accent uh, <Kale> <laughs> <Kale> <laughs> <ma>. <laughs> uh 
Boston. <laughs> There's a wicked storm coming in Boston. Uh, but yeah, it appears as though somebody is singing. Uh, everybody Arcana check. Haggis, uh, Haggis rolls at, or I'm sorry, Copious rolls at advantage. 23. 19. One. 15, comrade. And a 14. I think it's a blue whale down there. They sing pretty songs. Advantage. Six. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At advantage, you rolled a six? Yes. Hey, can I have my rolls back? <laughs> <laughs> Why? You got to roll for your uncle? <laughs> I have to roll for He's rolling my rolls. I'm rolling ones now. Copious is entirely too busy to give two craps about the music. Uh, those that rolled high realize that this is a gnomish travel song. And you're you're gnome. How do you? He's busy. Maybe constitutionals in order. Maybe he's busy. You know. <laughs> maybe making camp. maybe a laxity's in order. Yeah. You know? Get the shit out of his ear. He was banished from the gnome kingdom because of uh, sleeping with the wrong man's son. <laughs> <laughs> the governor never both forgave of his, me. Both of his fathers were so angry. Ah, the Nomish village of Minneapolis Airport. Pep, pep, pep. So uh, everybody hears the Nomish travel song, uh, but because of the structural makeup of uh, this chasm, you can't really tell where it's coming from. But it's fairly close, you assume, because you can hear it. Uh, your other assumption would be that uh, you did see some gnomes uh, as part of the 71 treasure hunters, uh, and you can safely surmise without a roll that uh, yep. there's another party nearby. You know, it's possible <laughs> that that's that <laughs> shuffling sound that I heard may have been them on a trail up above. Now, I'm going to kind of wander over and look up and look around um, through the chasm, see if I see even a glint of firelight anywhere. Sure. Uh, give me a, just give me a straight up D20 roll. 16. Uh, over to the right, there doesn't appear to be anything. Over to the left, uh, some kind of flickering. All right. Way, way off in the distance. Okay. Looks I'll like let the a rest giant of the party dragon. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Pinch you know, your head. Pinch your head. We're on a plateau right now, right? Yeah. Like between these two. Yes. So when you say left, am I looking down another trail, or is it like open, like completely open? The trail to the right is the steep one, wider. The trail to the left, narrower, not as steep. Okay. We're still in a chasm. There's just it, we're at a point where the it, the trail split and go down two different directions, okay. left way or right way. But the still we're just at that wide, so there's a little bit of room enough more for us to camp. There I have a this. great idea. We should split the party. Just and that's why you don't fun. leave. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you're they're, six. they're probably coming this way. They're probably yeah. coming this way. I'm not number one. I'm Those number six. Oh, well, well, now we know. I my thought is going down the the steep one. It'll get us down to the bottom quicker. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll bring up the rear. Are you going to travel at night? No, tomorrow. Oh, okay. No, oh, okay, okay. I'll still no, bring I'm, up I'm the rear tomorrow. I'm resting. Resting. Fair enough. Uh, you guys can set up uh, watches. Uh, they will be ineffective as uh, nothing much moves in this region. Uh, which is a plus, uh, but not to short sheet the ambiance. Uh, night will pass uneventfully. Day four, day four down. Yep. At four up, uh, begins uh, very almost non-existent light uh, because you guys have gone several hundred feet down. Even at high noon, the sunlight's going to be scarce. Uh, you all know this. You all realize this. None of you woke up with chigger bites. So, you know, that's a plus. Uh, the trail song is gone. No sound uh, aside from uh, just a slight, slight breeze, the small, slight moaning. Uh, and you have your choice to return up or go left or right. Um, Copious wants to ask Leaf a question. <clears throat> the, 
most knowledgeable nature person here is this path we're on currently down in this chasm is it wide enough for a dragon to either climb out back up or to fly out of I think it's deeper? I, yes do i need an insight check or no, animal okay. check no what do you think you're you're fully aware of how big that dragon was that you guys yeah. fought already i think well i would guess that it could fly up out of here it can fly up uh it could potentially climb out however the loose shale would be an yeah, issue yeah but it it's certainly you've got enough area of gaps here that it could fly <laughs> just think top gun <laughs> i was thinking more like star wars you know oh yeah that's, oh, a, that's the... a good one yeah so I, I i would say yes i'm gonna go ahead and uh, no i shouldn't have a problem seeing in the dark down here correct only to the extent that you can. Okay. Who in here can't? Everybody in this group can see in the dark now, right? Mm -hmm. Those that Frank? couldn't have uh, the pendant. 30 the feet. Ambulance. Have the pendants. Okay. The pendulum is have, only 30 I, feet. Right? I don't have the spider okay. cool gem, so I can't see at all in the dark. You're a dragonborn who can't see in the Man dark? Bank, no, can't I see can't. In the dark. I'm resistant to everything, but I still can't see. Well, well, I, I thought mean, Dragonborns uh, could naturally see in the dark. I will loan Manfang one of my brooches. But it'll uh, cost him gold, right? How much How much will that cost? Yeah. How much will that cost? Well, you're, it's a loan. It's not, I'm not giving it to you. So I'll pass over the red spider brooch. We have to pay interest, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Weekly payment. At least starting <laughs> fee. He won that. <laughs> Ah, thanks. So oh, thanks. Can oh, now gra see. oh, gracious, copious. Now keep in mind, uh, it, it's not special ops, green, cool stuff. It's varying shades of coldness. Uh, so your vision is not perfect, but it is passable to some degree. You can uh, see the path where, in front. Enough of it. to where I could see it, to where I won't fall off. Yes. Uh, now, once you get to the bottom. All bets are going to be off because that's going to be pitch black down there. You're that's all right. I have Vin light Diesel. spells to take care of that. There you go. So uh, left or right? Steep. Let's go. Let's go right. Take the steep path. It's just my feelings about it. Uh, take, I'm take a vote. following you. So which I'm like in the middle of a pack, and I'm the smallest one here. So pretty much wherever the train's moving is where I'm going. <laughs> Robert, now, are you taking number three or are you taking number four spot? I'm number four. Okay. I'll take I'm number three. Rear. Haggis is number three. Okay. And Man Fang is in front of Robert. I'm at the back. <clears throat> Fair enough. Okay, so if I slip, I'll be like a bowling ball. Where's exactly? So he, I knock everybody he likes down. Haggis, Copious, Man Fang, Dragon, and Robert. I, I feel a couple of eyes burning through my robe. Is Felix right behind me? Yes, yes I indeed. Am. Oh my God. Okay. After, when that wind was blowing up out of the thing, you look like Fabio. Yeah. And you just did the... You tossed your hair back. It was awesome. Uh, don't forget, everybody had a long rest. So you got your spells back. You right. Oh, points back. Right. <clears throat> so, day Absolutely. four, we're starting off. We're going to the right, you say. Yes. And since how I've already explored a ways down this, so I'm going to move at a fair clip. Uh, you get to a point... Three hours into it, uh, and it splits again, uh, and it's it, it looks like a stone arch, some really cool uh, medieval fantasy-looking golem crap, uh, and that jets down at a steep angle to the right, to the left, it hugs uh, the mountain, uh, and the decline kind of goes back up to 50 degrees so it's not nearly as steep and it hugs but in order to get to this other part you have to cross this ancient archaic non-dangerous looking uh roman aqueduct thing made out of search, old stone i want to search the ground <coughs> for any kind of sign uh there's some scuff marks there's some uh, rubble here um you look up uh, the distance you have on your dark vision is not going to tell you whether or not there is a trail above or below. Uh, they are not that close. If there 
R any. Uh, do you want to look at the construction of this thing? A little bit, yeah. Give me an Arcana check. Uh, 17 and 5, uh, 22. Uh, this is definitely bridge construction. Looks like almost dwarvish work, uh, which would explain why it was intact. You can surmise knowing the fact that these chasm peaks are actually in an inverted mountain range, uh, that this bridge thingy uh, must have spanned a river or a gorge at one time, several hundred feet up, uh, much like the citadel, it came down and sandwiched itself. Almost like the citadel walls that you've crossed over with a great amount of ease. Mm -hmm. Well, I can go down a short ways down the steeper one and see what's down that way, if anything. The steep one is the Roman aqueduct. Okay. So, uh, Felix, do you want to cheer him on? Go, Leaf, go. Go, Leaf, go. Or yell out, I hope there's nothing down there that'll eat you. <laughs> uh, no, I'll go down there with him. Oh, very nice. Uh, two large bodies are scoping their way down there. Who wants to D12 against me? Maybe Lee or Felix. Maybe me and uh, Felix should. Only Lee for all Felix. Right. All right, I'll do it. Eight. Two. Uh, you surmise that maybe you should give Leaf a little bit of slack so that you guys are not bunched up and uh, putting a lot of force on the same buttresses. Oh, so this literally is a bridge we're walking down. It is. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't get that from your description. My right. bad. Yeah. At some point in time, it must have been crossed over a river or something. Okay. And just fell oh. whoop, and wedged itself. All right, I'll, I'll continue on down a short ways and see where what's at the other end of it. Sure. Uh, Felix, are you going to follow at a safer distance now? Yes, by safer distance, yes. That means I'm going to stand right here. I'm not going to go any further. Sure. Leaf, uh, you go around the corner, make the dollar sign uh, approach, uh, and down below uh, there's a rock face, and you believe there's another cavern opening uh you can't tell if the path continues or not uh and you're pretty sure pretty sure uh you hear rushing water down below somewhere it's very faint uh but you hear rushing water i'm gonna move on down a little farther uh, this cave, uh, is daunting, uh, stands about 12 feet tall. Give me an insight check. Let's see. That's a 17. Blanche tendrils, uh, because it doesn't get enough sunlight, uh, encompass the pedestal that this pathway sits upon, uh, and there is no exit point aside from the cave opening. So this may be a dead end, or the cavern uh, may lead deeper into the mountain and somewhere else. I'm going to, again, examine the floor if I see any signs that there's been anything through there. Not All a right. thing. I'm heading back out then, back up to the party. Uh, Felix. Tell them what I saw is standing on the bridge where you left him. Everybody else is back further. Um, as you come across Leaf, you notice, or Felix, you notice that Leaf is headed towards you. Do you want to stay on the bridge and greet him warmly? Maybe high five, maybe chest bump? Uh, no, knowing the condition of this, or thinking I know the condition of the bridge, I'm going to keep a distance in front of him as he returns. Okay, so you retreat back to the others. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, Leaf, that little jaunt took you an hour. All right. So it's if you're if you're keeping notes, if you're mentally in your head, uh, you're probably around noon, and you okay. are back at the split. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to tell everybody what I saw, what I observed. Number one, I don't think this bridge would would hold a dragon. So I I, I kind of got my doubts that this is the way we need to go. Could the, the dragon just fly over the bridge, or does it go into a cavern? Uh, well, I don't know. I, 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 I... Toot, 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 toot. Don't know, but I didn't see any signs there was anything on the floor either. Do I hear that behind me? Uh, yeah. You hear it to the left. Hopius doesn't hear it, but subliminally he just starts whistling it. Sure. Coming coming up the path mm -hmm. from the left. Yep. Oh, geez. I hear it, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we need to go to the right now. <laughs> But if they're coming up from the left, they're coming up from the left, and they've already been the way we were going to go. So, well, oh, that makes right sense. Said not to go to the right. No, I told you what I saw to the right. There's a if big cavern the left down there. there, but I, I, I. Did you go in the cavern? Uh, the entrance. Yeah, he did. That not. was it. I just looked. I looked into the cavern. I didn't go into the cavern. So he half-assed his investigation is what he's telling you. <laughs> Felix, you were there. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I think the bridge is definitely not strong enough to hold a dragon. So what dragon ever use a bridge? The cavern. Man fang. You the cavern water. was the cavern was big enough. You heard water rushing under the um, bridge. Maybe there's a whale holding up the bridge. All right. Yeah. You know what? Let's just go back, and this time we'll go in the cavern and explore it. But we need to be spread out when we cross this damn thing, or somebody's going to put us in a drink. Well, we can go to the left. You just said it's not to the right, and then you came up, and we were going to go left. And you said we got to go to the right. I'm I didn't say it wasn't to the right. I told you what I found to the right. <laughs> The whistling yeah, of the bridge over the river Kwai seems to be getting louder now. Even Copius can hear it. Well, let's go the other way if they're coming up this way. Or we kill uh, the you know what? Up I'll go. Way. I'll go explore the cavern. I'll turn back into a, a panther and I'm gonna take off back to the cavern. Okay. Uh, Felix, uh, he goes full on panther mode and whoop whoop whoop. And I flip my paw up as I go by. Nice. Yep. That's fun. So he's headed there. Everybody else is right there at the split. Uh, the whistling is getting louder. Do we defend? Like, prepare defenses? What? Defense? Do that or... It's not like they're an army battalion. Uh, they're well, coming. Yeah, we fight. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. If they're coming that way, that means there's nothing on the left side. So there's no reason well, to go that way. Well, it's so, Maybe they already found well, everything and this, is what, and this is their gold they're bringing back and they're just carrying it. Well, I, I feel like it's oh, so we should kill them and take their gold. No. That's a good idea. Well, I mean, I like that idea no matter what. Were we gonna kill them either way? <laughs> it depends. We gotta. Ask. I can't believe we're wait, talking wait. about murdering innocent people. This we gotta, wait. group is ridiculous. Wait, we should oh, try no. to conversate with them first. We should. We should try to conversate with them first and be friendly. Maybe they won't kill us instantly. Felix, what if there's a careful. half they might, they that might are be first dead. level? Oh, their first level. I don't know what to do. I can't do right, that. Touch those guys. Felix is getting his ass kicked. That's I gotta the sit those one out, level. guys. I'll take on the nation, by God, but whoa, party of first levels. Screw that. Whoa, whoa. That's, Watch that's out for them. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> uh -uh, uh -uh. Sneaky little bastards. <laughs> Maybe we should whistle louder. So, yeah, there you go. Whistle out the the louder whistler. It's, it's the set up with the dance off. <laughs> I think I, I think you should fake a battle with Man Thing. Oh yeah, I could I could shove him by like by uh, shove you him and shove say, me off the wall. Yeah, yeah, well, no, that's I, it. I, shove him. No, what it's like the wall. Airplane? It'd be like it'd be like um oh this guy's trying to steal the treasure from me, and then we could initiate a fight and they could join in and then and, and attack yeah. me. You should write good. a book with that story. <laughs> I think that story sounds plausible right there. <laughs> Ah, you're gonna he's trying to steal the treasure. End up in the drink <laughs> several hundred feet below. I I take my hand and clap really loud in the sense that I hit somebody with my hand. 
Wow. Time to get underneath the ledge. The whistling stops. <laughs> They're okay. like crows. You got to scare them away. You got to crap. <laughs> you got to crap? Gotta cl- yeah. No, you, gotta, no, you didn't. <laughs> you got to clap real loud. Like, they know we're here. <laughs> okay, so Leaf's gone. Uh, Felix, what are you doing? <laughs> we're so bad with Leaf gone. Uh, I think Felix is going to encourage everybody. Actually, Felix kind of wants to set a trap on this trail. They're just innocents. Encourage everybody to go across the bridge. Your party, tr- your party across the bridge, yeah. or the group coming up? No, no, no. Our, I don't. I, how much time do I think we have before they get here? Can I? Maybe a minute. Check for that? Top, top a minute, because that whistling was getting loud. Yeah, there's no way we're going to have time to set a trap. Uh, well, we could put a gold coin on the ground and make it lead the way we came, so they go that but way do we, we know go that they, way. How do we know they don't have torches? Can we see a light, or are they also using dark vision? Don't know. You do not well, see a, a gnome. light. it's a gnome. Gnomes right. don't have dark vision. Well, we don't know. They could have the pen- they could have pendants like ours, maybe not shaped like ours. Hopefully, but- so, is Cody so- hearing this conversation? <laughs> yeah. So Cody is next on the list. Felix says, "Let's set a trap." I don't think we have enough time to set a trap. Everybody, go across the bridge. Copius, what do you want? I'm walking across the bridge. I left them five minutes going. Fair enough. Hagus, uh, you want to leave the gold? You want to take the gold? You want to set the Is the bridge the, the way we came, or is it to the right? It's to the right. Okay, then I want to put a piece of gold used, on the way we came and then run gold. to the bridge. You still have the fake gold coins? Try that. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Are you uh, leaving a piece of gold and crossing the bridge? Yep. Yeah. Robert? I'm picking up the gold and putting it in my knew, pocket. I absolutely <laughs> knew you would. <laughs> They're going to come this way. And just so it's known, I'm adding it to my uh, chart right over here. Thank you. One gold more. <laughs> well, it's a not real gold coin. One fake gold coin. Uh, yeah, Man Fang, what do you want to do? Uh, they got like Don't a minute care. before they get here. Tops. Um, how, okay, c- okay. So my ours goes down steeper. How far away would I have to go to still be able to see them cross without them? Like, since it's steeper, how could I still see over top of that one if I went down enough? You will be on low ground, so when they come around the corner that's on that left fork. You will probably see them. Okay, I'm going to wait there and just look. I'm going to wait and watch. You have to be silent. Hanfang is the only one uh, with the balls to stay on this side of the the bridge. And uh, I I appreciate that. Manfang, you see three small globes of light. Uh, I don't think anybody in your party has used dancing lights before, have they? Or have you? Nope. Okay, so no, you, you just three, see three small globes of light coming from around the bend. Uh, they are in different areas, but they're close enough to where their glow uh, gives somewhat of a tunnel of illumination. Give me a perception okay. check. That is a 18 plus 4, so I think I see pretty well. <clears throat> you hear... 22. What sounds like somebody almost falling off the ledge because you have a great deal of experience with that sound. Uh, Yeah, I would I would know since I've done it before. So there is a slight amount of muttering, possibly some gnomish cursing going on. Uh, Wait, are th- they speaking? Are they speaking in only gnomish, or are they speaking in common and swearing in gnomish? Gnomish only. Uh, the okay. three globes of illumination dissipate. Okay. Can I see them anymore? Can I still like see them, or have they walked you far cannot, away? You cannot them? see anything yet. Okay. I think I'm going to wait to just to see if the light comes back on. Okay. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna. If it doesn't, after like five minutes, I'm walking down the bridge. Okay. Uh, give me another perception check. That is a nineteen. Uh, you definitely hear somebody moving. You are too far away to see it, even with the dark vision. Uh, switching back to everybody else, you have found uh, Panther Leaf at the entrance to this uh, cave. It appears as though this is a dead end. Uh, on the surface, 
there's a lot of white blanched tendrils uh, coming up because chlorophyll doesn't work down in this depth, uh, but the blanching of the vines do. Uh, they do not appear to move, they do not appear to be animated, and they appear to be maybe a foot or two below this small plateau slash cave entrance. Inside the cave entrance, you hear nothing. What do you hear? Nothing. Not even a breeze. And you notice Manfang is not with you. Uh, this, this you were talking to me. This is what I observed. Nothing. All of you. Yeah. Except I want to move Manfang. on into the cave. Yeah, in the cave. <coughs> Shoot. A lot of stalactite and stalagmite uh, features in here. It's 20 feet wide, but you're going to have to watch your step uh, because not all of them have formed uh, connected columns. So you have a, a pretty, you know, hellish view of this. Uh, all of you five roll uh, perception. 17. 24. 8. 15. Thirty twenty. Everybody but copious hears the <laughs> outside like the, outside the cave. Like a like what what what, what, what the way you said that sounded and, a little. And we don't notice I, anything. Uh, well, you notice he's not there, and you heard a scream. Man, right. thing, you have a PM. Ah, okay. I saw that. Am I, I supposed to say it, it or am I going to keep that to myself? You're going to hold on to that. All right, cool. Now I have a secret. I'm going to go out and check to see if I can find Man Thing then. I'm pretty it didn't sure that's sound not like him, but it like at least pleasure. it didn't sound like Man Thing from last week when he lost the testicle. No. <laughs> but that could have been a different screen. Mine was more. Yeah, and, well, because he's lost the testicle, it yeah. probably would be a different octave. A little higher. <laughs> octave higher. <laughs> An octave higher, yeah. My voice got knocked up to here. Uh, Robert, as you leave and retrace your steps, uh, oh. there on the bridge, you see a uh, proned out individual that you probably guess in his man fang. I'm going to go check on it. Uh, as you do, uh, you hear some stones skitter off the bridge because you two are also heavy weights. Man, Fang, and Robert, go ahead and roll straight up D20. <laughs> 17. 17. I'm rolling good, but I just jinked myself, so I'm going to roll a 1 next. So. 17. Uh, the bridge holds, uh, and you come up, uh, Robert, you see Man Fang kind of doing this, uh, so, uh, he didn't levitate up and fall on the bridge, he seems to be <laughs> okay otherwise. Uh, you guys are still both too far away, uh, for the dark vision to catch any movement. Uh, Man Fang, uh... Your secret is yours to keep or to tell him? I think I'll tell him. Okay. I'll tell this to Robert. Do I have to secretly tell Robert or can I just... You can tell him. Just, All you right. can just blurt it out. I heard someone fall. I think it was one of the gnomes. If I'm not mistaken, we heard that same sound. I thought it was you. No, it wasn't. My voice is a lot more manly if you couldn't tell. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> we were pretty mistaken. Ah, thanks. All right, so you you yeah, didn't fall then? Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. I hey, you know what? One of them fell. Don't go on the big boy adventure if you can't play with the big boys. Let's get in the cave. No, I'm somebody one... sees you. Yeah, but he's got one less yeah, toy they... to play with, if you remember. They had lights. <laughs> they had lights floating around them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say they had lights. It looked like. Could I tell how many of them there were? Three. There were three of them. I heard one of them fall. They played cool tones, and Robert Dreyfus was there. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's think an we obscure go one. Well, they're magic users, then. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Right. Or they were just holding big floating rocks. I assume right, you well. two are talking in hushed tones, not like, "Hey, what do you think happened to those jackasses?" Hey, what happened over there? Hey, man, Fang, man, Fang, I 
I'm talking to you. What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> That's my, hey, man thing. It is you two, YouTube, so I, I have to on. ask. Uh, no, I I think we'd be speaking on hushed phones. Your subtlety sure? is a zero. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, you sure you don't have to roll for that man thing? I've no, played I with you for good. weeks now. No, I think I'm good. Uh, Leaf, Felix, yes. Copious, Huggis. <clears throat> Initiative. I'm rolling like crap. I don't even want to roll this. Jeez, Louise. Why? 18. Wait a minute. I get a plus. 20. Dirty. Oh, we get a plus? Felix, oh, I get a plus. 16. Eight. Six. Huh. Felix, Felix versus Felix Felix Felix. Yours. Mine was eight. And what was Felix's? <laughs> wow. You guys blow. Uh, Leaf, uh, one at least of the stone formations has moved. Oh boy. And it has moved towards <sighs> copious. Do do I see anything that looks like imminent danger? To you no. It's Your dark vision rock. has picked up zip, but something is moving. I'm going to cast Flame Blade right off the bat. Okay. The <laughs> uh, cavern illuminates in light. And everybody is blinded. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, better, you, didn't put you better get over it. Quick. <laughs> Let me just say that it's not wise to give ideas to the dungeon master. That's true. <laughs> I'm uh, not in there. I'm having fun. <laughs> so, so is that is that your action, Leaf? Yes. Uh, Sixteen, Hagas, was that you? Um, um, I, I see what's moving in the direction, right? Uh, yes. You see a stone vine, for lack of a better term. So the, I just see something moving in there, right? That's all I need to know. Just is something moving. Something moving. Then I want to. Um, um, I'm going to shoot it. He's what shoot it. Shoot what shape shit. did you say that was, Frank? What what, what, what was that? What was the shape again? Uh, it's a stone formation. One of the uh, the joint Filler. stalactites, stalagmites. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's a witch bolt? I'll do a witch bolt. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, Let's try out this witch bolt. One d twelve. We got rolled a hit. Well, yes. Yeah. Um, Fifteen. Uh, 15, your Witch Bolt rebounds off the... Is that the... good? No, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it rebounds odd up, even down. Should I still roll for damage? Nah. Uh, odd. Yeah. Uh, it rebounds up into the ceiling, knocking down dust and small rocks that aren't going to cause any damage. Uh... Did it make a lot of noise? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it is it enough noise? Is that enough noise that we can hear it up here? It is not. Uh, not yet. Uh, I have a 15. Copious, you see this stone pillar move forward. So now it just has a triangular head, so it was not connected. Uh, and you see a giant eye open up on it, menacing. Uh, and it is going to do... Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, man. This is not a challenge five. This is something worse. Uh, only a seven on the roll, so 14 to hit. Uh, no. Uh, its tentacle reaches out, smacks along the rooftop, skittering small stones and more dust along with a witch bolt, but does not connect with you, uh, which is a really, really good thing. Uh, that is its single attack this round, uh, subject to change. Copious, uh, it, now like that you tentacle. clean your drawers out, uh, there's a giant eyeball staring at you, and a maw also appears below the eye, so this thing has a mouth, too. Uh, old schoolers will know this as a roper. Uh, that gets multiple attacks. Copious, what do you want to do? How close is everybody else? 
Uh, well, you, it's a 30 foot wide area. I assumed you guys would spread out. Uh, and there are a lot of other stone formations offering partial cover. Correct. Ah, oh, that thing. Ah, oh, how pretty. Uh, Next I'm round, gonna four to, attacks. <laughs> I'm going to try to get away from the flailing ropes by trying to get far far away and behind a stalactite and then set up uh, to it attack with spells next turn give me an uh, acrobatics check check not say god i have not rolled well for the last several turns 19 uh you leap over sparing both testicles and manage to dive behind a stalagmite <laughs> Uh, because mites have an m and that means they're pointed up uh you are successful felix what the hell's going on Coach used to place his balls with brass ones years ago. They would have been fine. <laughs> Gong. <laughs> uh, Felix? Ting, ting, ting. That means you're up. Uh, yeah. I think Felix. Does Felix see the eyeball of the creature? Uh, D12 against me. Seven. Uh, seven. Uh, Ty goes to the runner. Yes, you see the eyeball or the maw. One of the two. You realize uh, Felix, that this thing's animated. Felix is going to attempt to shoot the eyeball. Sure. Oh, He's going to make it. So Called much fun. shot. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kobe. Uh, fifteen. Nope. <laughs> Ricochets off one of its stony eyelashes. Ping. Uh, new round. Uh, leaf. I believe that's you. Yeah. Just a second. Uh, you I'm gonna notice I'm going to cast four, Shield of Faith on myself. Sure. You notice four tentacles start to come out. Okay. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself and attack. Cool. Go ahead. By the way, Robert uh, and uh, Manfang, you guys are walking back. You know, you know, we found this cave. I'm not really now. sure. I don't Plus think there's anything in there. I think the old man's lost it. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you still in <laughs> panther form? Yes. Yes, he said it. <laughs> I think that'd be better because it gives him an advantage of dodging. Um, well, he couldn't he'd have, have cast, nine lives. He could cast yeah. Flame Blade, though. I hit. Flame okay. Blade on his tail. <clears throat> uh, it's a 20 to hit this thing, by the way. 20. Jeez. Two zero. It's stony exterior. Uh protects it a lot what if we just go past it yes oh. and no <laughs> murder murder hobo you go first. my murder <laughs> hobo four die six is 20 nice that will hurt uh 16 haggis uh you do notice that this thing only moves on its arms Doctor Octo apparently is in the so house. like if I if I insight how fast could this thing be well, if you try and run past it, it does have four tentacles. At least one of them will get a crack on you, uh, not to mention its attack against you normally. So you're I, could un I could dodge it. You, you could uncanny dodge it, uh, but if you get hit, this thing has the potential of hurting. <laughs> That's true. Um... But you guys are ready to take over the nation, so I think you'll do fine. <laughs> um, monster. I'll, um, I, I would like to sneak attack it in a way that I'm still near the party so it's looking in one direction so I'm just <laughs> at the side okay. sneak attacking so if need be I'm still in the general area where everyone else is so I'm not alone gotcha um, uh, that's a die 12 17 nope not good enough <laughs> Your blade hits the stony exterior and does not pierce. It's pain time, boys and girls. Uh, we will start with Felix. Add mm -hmm. seven to the attack rolls. Nat 20, Felix. <laughs> uh, copious. It hits him and smacks him right into a wall. Knocking, knocking I am not shitting you at all. Nat 20. Nat 20. That's two of them. You know what? I'm proud of this. You just take a photo of that. Capture that. There's that. And then... 
Yeah. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. This is really gonna hurt. Ah, look at that. Two nat twenties. Let's see how I kill the other party members. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Leaf. Yep. Uh, four plus seven is eleven. Nope, not even close. Haggis. Six plus seven. Thirteen. No. Uh, gentlemen. <laughs> unless I roll four twos again, you guys, you guys are in deep shit. Uh, I don't have all my dice, so I gotta roll these twice. You are welcome. Uh, 19 hit points each as the stony protrusion smacks you upside the head. Copious, uh, FYI, I was at minus two to hit you due to cover and concealment, uh, but the nat 20 uh, Wipe no, that out. was no bueno. Uh, Can I, I want a hellish uh, retribution. Yep. Because I took damage. Yep. So you have to make a. Uh, I didn't put my good. Uh, Dex 15 save. Uh, 16 on the die. Uh, minus 115. So you save, right? I save. Yeah. Do I take half? Uh, I believe you do, actually. Yeah. I'll look it up while you keep... Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up, well, uh, Copious, it's you. Uh, I had this window open. Where to go? So no time for the wicked. No, I know. That's just with, it's cold. With the disappearing Haggis on deck. <sighs> At the end of this round, Manfang and Robert will be walking in. Hey guys, what's maybe going on? not if not if they see what's in there first. That's I was gonna say, what are we sure they're gonna do that? A half half on a on a save, yep. Cool. So let me do the damage from the other. Sure. Six, five, two. It's Steve Buscemi walking in on uh, Armageddon when they're all holding pistols at each other. What did we miss? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it would be, so I rolled 12 points of damage from the hellish rebuke. So six or and did then, you already have it. Well, that was, that was half. Okay. That was, gotcha. 12 was half. Yeah. And then I'm going to hit with Eldritch Blast. Sure. Both, both shots. You hope. Natural 20. Nice. And 23. Nice. Both hit. So. So you got your hands around the stalagmite. Pew, pew. Pretty much 18 points of damage for the... Ouch. Yeah. That does hurt. So uh, 30 points total damage from Copius this round. Boy, he's, hey, like, he, he, he's pushing himself to the head of the MVP line there. Uh, Haggis, you're up. Uh, okay. you, you saw how much damage it did to Felix and Copius. You are concerned. <laughs> For the rock monster, or okay. Um, this is kind of difficult for something. You need twenty to hit. Um, I will like to shoot my bow because it has a plus two. Correct. Um, nineteen. So twenty-one. Nicely done. Right into the eyeball or the maw. Okay, and then that would be 12. Nicely done. Uh, Robert Manfang, perception check. <laughs> Let's just see how blind you really are. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, that's a seven. I can't see. Uh, 26. So as you're walking into this cave, Manfang, you were telling Robert that your plan had a certain degree of merit, and as one of the smartest members of the party, he should have shut up and listened to you. Robert, yes. you notice, for some reason, these Yahoo partners of yours are attacking a rock. So I need initiative from Robert and Manfang at this point. That's a 17. Even though I didn't actually see it, I still know how to hit it. Sure. 
That's why you're the smartest uh, member of this party. Exactly. <laughs> Nat 20, round something three, I believe. Leave. Hold on, I didn't get to go for oh, round two. Oh, that's right. Uh, my apologies. I'm dead last. It's yeah. okay. That six is marvelous. Yes. Dead last, that's really appropriate for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh, wait, I don't like that. That's a bad omen. I will just be last, regular last. I'm going to shoot the longbow again. Ugh, 18. Between. Uh, Damn it. Top of the order, Leaf. I hit with a 23 and 21 points of damage. That Flame it, blade. That thing is hurting. Uh, Haggis, you're up. Hmm. I would like to not hit it. 17. For shame. Uh, because Oh, and you know what? Uh, my apologies. Uh, Manfang, you get to go as well. I know. I'm so special. <clears throat> Boom, Manfang. Chop it up. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on. I think I should sit back for one round and just assess the situation. No, no. Kill it. What's he is assessing. He's kill it. Assessing. I, might, I heard assessing. <laughs> I, I'm assessing. I clearly heard assessing. <laughs> the next blast. It's coming your way. Hey, it's big same. number. Come on. Just, you guys need to remember. Situation. I just got here. You guys are starting to attack That's right. a rock. I, I wonder if it's time for off. Big Red 2 to come out. <laughs> man, uh, Fang, man Fang is a thinker. Phoenix, I am a thinking man. Does lightning strike twice? Yes. 2 plus 7 is 9. Whew. No, it does not strike twice. Copious. 12 plus 7, 19. Yes. Minus 2, 17. No. Uh, that, that stalagmite is now gone. Ah, son of it. Uh, leaf. 15 plus 7, 22. Oh, that hits, yeah. Man fan, or not, I'm sorry, haggis. 11 plus 7, 18, Haggis. Here comes the pain train, boys. You got lucky there. You got lucky there. 16 damage, Leaf and Haggis. I want to throw wrath, uh, it. wrath of the Storm. Okay. Uh, so... He, uh, dex saving throw, DC 16. Minus uh, one. Two. Minus one is one. <laughs> and you take 15 points of damage. The creature is sundered and shatters into pieces, raining down on you guys. Everybody Why the hell are you guys beating up a rock? Everybody, perception yeah. check. Are there more of them? 14. 21. 14. 14. 25. Natural 20. Natural 20 is going to trump that 25. Uh, Haggis, some of those rocks that exploded are glittering in the green illumination of Leaf's flame blade. Are they turning into wow. more rocks, creatures? Looks like yeah, they're gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> Break them. <laughs> so like they're they're like jewels, giant. jewels. Yeah, they're yeah. crystal gems. I'll put them in my dragon pouch. I'd like to put them in my. Put them in my dragon pouch. I would like to pick up as many as I can carry. Uh, roll a d8. Once a uh, one. Nine. Eight. Four. Four? Uh, Robert, roll a D8. Cannot be higher than four. Five. How many? Literally five. <laughs> so you got four. Haggis got four. Odd, Robert, even Haggis. Odd, Robert, D12 against me.
Ten. One of your gemstones levitates up. Is it the eye? It is not the eye. Can we see uh, this? Eye, levit can we see that load? happening? Yes. So does this, does this bag suddenly feel lighter? No. And things does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna think. I don't. Think, no, it doesn't feel lighter. It just it shattered, so it's still there. It just it's just it's just mushy now. It's not so nice actually. It's uh -huh. quite heavy when we put that golden ball in there. Yeah, it will be quite. So heavy. Robert, roll three d ten. Drag on the floor. Uh, Hagas, roll four d ten. Uh, if you get a four. two, one of those gems is worth two hundred gold pieces. If you get a nine, one of them is worth nine hundred. You each got four gems. One of Robert's is not a gem. It is something else. I rolled an eight, one, and nine. Nice. You got the big ones. Actually, they're probably smaller, but very valuable. How many times do we have to roll this? Four. Um, so I got an eight, a zero, a four, and a three. Ooh, nice. 1,000, an 800, a 400, and a 300. Pretty healthy haul, boys and girls. I'm sure the triplets will enjoy all that. Everybody roll perception check. No, you should do you should get that duck. Twenty four. Fifteen. Nineteen. Fourteen. It's just straight up. Mm -hmm. Perception. Fourteen. Oh. Uh eighteen. Thirty twenty. <laughs> uh Felix, Leaf, Manfang, Robert, Copius. Footsteps, booted footsteps running from where you came. Where we came from. I think I know who they are. Um, I think it's the gnomes. Oh, I'm going to stand at the ready. I'm going to whistle a gnomish marching song. Ooh, nice. I am going to walk over there. Ready, but I'm going to walk over to the footsteps. What if we cut the bridge? Then they can't come what do you to mean, us. Oh, well, well, what if we need to go back this way? Yeah. No. Uh, that's, that's true. That's what true. if we cut yeah. the bridge and kill all of us? First off, copious persuasion. Is that a one? <laughs> being tone deaf. Uh, you know, being no salt teens right after that combat. That's right. Uh, as Manfang exits the cavern, everyone hears, Holy shit, it's a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manfang, white sinewy material appears uh, either in front, on, or behind you. Give me a dexterity roll. It's a five. On you. <laughs> Uh, yet again, Manfang is covered in webs, and now he's attached to the cave entrance. Uh, I'm going to take some pot shots at you, because Felix shouldn't be the only one. Can I still talk? Speared. Oh, yeah, you can talk. That I'm going to talk in common? Or wait, did I talk in common, or did they talk in gnomish, and they just started you yelling You talk in me? common. Everybody talks a little common now and then. But wait. The song that uh, did I hear Copious them, was trying did to... Did I hear them say dragon, or did Copious hear them say dragon? Did, did they say them? dragon in common? Okay, so I'm saying? going, oh, I'm going to... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I'm they said it in to, common. I'm going to try to conversate back and say, I'm not a dragon, I'm draconic. Get it I, right. I identify as he, she. <laughs> and the four arrows will be the answer. <laughs> How dare well, he you did lose one testicle. He's just halfway there, as I always say. That's what uh, I'm saying. The I'm best sure. I could do was a 15 and a 14. None of them hit. Okay. Uh, so they all pepper off the side of the cave. Everybody inside the cave sees Manfang, <laughs> much like Copious uh, at the keep, uh, and he appears to be stuck. Uh, Copious, you hear the term unga, uh, retreat in Gnomish. Hey, I think those are gnomes out there, guys. Kill them. 
Wait, how would they know I'm a dragon? I'm wearing a helmet. And a turtle shell. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dragons do they see? Dragon it's, turtles. It's dark. Dragon Man, turtles. Man Fang, uh, give me a perception roll. Uh, give me a second. Where'd that dice go? There it is. That is 21. Five of them retreat. One of them... Oh, of course it does. <laughs> is, it, is it something... Is it... Sends a fireball at you. Ah! Uh, give me That's a, gonna hurt. Give me a deck save at disadvantage since you are trapped. Ah, mm. oh, great. That's a four. <laughs> He jumped I'm, in front of that fireball. I, said, not, I can't him. even jump. I just stayed there like this. Didn't try and defend myself at all. I'm going to assume Copius is behind him uh, since he was trying to do the tune. Is anybody else right behind Manfang? So Copius and Robert, give me acrobatics. Save. <laughs> uh, Manfang rolled the damage dice. I have to roll the damage dice? No, I did it for you, and it sucks. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, both of you managed to dodge out of the way, taking zero damage. Uh, Man Fang, I got a one. Can... Ah, good. A two. Good. Another two. Amazing. Another two. That's great. A three. Good. And a five. That's uh, great. Right. Kofi's got splashback, right? No damage, but a little splash. Yeah, a little burning uh, man fang. Uh, I'm going to call out Gnomish. I say, what kind of pussy fireball was that? Uh, Is that the best you can do? Did I see that shot come ringing in? Uh, you saw just the fireball coming in. Uh, man fang, you take 15 hit points of damage, and uh, your webs burn up, and you fall to the ground. Uh, Copius, give me an intimidation check. Uh, 19. That's going to be tough to beat. Uh, holy shit, it's a talking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> another web, and then another fireball. <laughs> now, I want to shoot at the first gnome outside the tunnel. Okay. I see. Uh, well, they're running, so you're going to, you may, may see the spellcaster leaving. All right. I'm, I'm, so I'm going to spell. Give me, give me, okay. If it's a two hit spell, give me a disadvantage, please. Because there's no ambient light outside. And that's a one on the magic. So I'll take away the natural 20 then, <laughs> disadvantage. So I threw a witch's bolt. Okay. So we're still 18. Oh, that, that easily hits this guy. Yep. You know, it's not like he's fourth level or eighth level or something like that, you know. Probably a first, first level first reading level. a freaking scroll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 30 points yeah. of damage. <clears throat> That's going to hurt a lot. Uh, and you hear, you, Copius, and Manfang all hear kind of a limping, dragging a bad leg kind of thing. Uh, Copius, you hear in Gnomish, to the bridge, to the bridge, to the bridge. Man Fang, uh, Robert just stepped right over you, and he's flinging spells. By the way, Robert, that was a one on the Oh, magic. yeah. That's <laughs> a one. Man, you guys are screwed. So some days <laughs> I try to teleport be nice to right on top of him. Or into the abyss. That'd be that cool. would be a better end of the 27. Rushing. I think I've got this on like Zoom 800%. 27? Yep. For the next minute, all your spells with a casting time of one action have a casting time of one bonus action. So I will allow two spells in the round. Copius, what would you like to do? Robert has stepped over the uh, slumped body of Manfang, who's still a steaming pile. Uh, Copius uh, is going. Uh, he's actually going to charge into the dark towards where the lump went down, and he's he's going to cast a spell as he goes 
moving into the dark, trying to hit whatever one is up and moving. So you are now ahead of Robert. Yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what spell are you going to cast? Eldritch Blast. Nice. Break the bridge. Uh, also at disadvantage, because this guy's dragging his sorry ass out. Oh, uh, so 11 on the first blast. That one's going to miss. Disadvantage, you said, right? Yep. Ugh. And 12 on the second blast. That also is ah. going to miss. Uh, the shouts of to the bridge, to the bridge, to the bridge are getting louder. Uh, Felix, Leaf, Haggis, uh, you guys have taken a back seat here. Uh, do yeah. you want to explore the rest of the cavern? Or figure out what, you know, uh, I'm the, explore. the party boys are doing. Yeah, they got that under control. Uh, yeah. Felix, after seeing all those gemstones, I think Felix saw the gemstones, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it oh, was yeah. quite... Felix is going to go break off as many stalactites and stalagmites as he can to try to do some prospecting. And Ranger Fred is going to be super pissed at him for destroying a natural wonder. Sure. You mean... Uh... Ranger the Lovely, who's just burning shit left and right. That's right. Leaf the Mountain <coughs> Druid. Uh, Haggis, what do Mount you want to do? I would like to keep exploring the cavern. Fair enough. Absolutely. Great. Felix, Split the party. Woo -woo. Felix, roll me a d4. Three. Uh, first d12. Nine. Did you say d4 versus d12? How many stalactites he's going to be able to oh. snap and then whether or not they have anything. Okay. <laughs> Second one. Nine again. Five. Third one. Twelve. <laughs> Eight. Uh, you find a lot of geodes. So if you take it to your local campus bookstore, you'll be able to trick people into believing that these magical healing crystals will protect them against werewolves, but they have no discernible value at this time. Yep, yeah, they have no value because <laughs> that um, is too far away to my local campus. It's just campus a bookstore. freaking rock, man. Haggis and Leaf, you have found an exit point, say 50 feet further. Uh, it takes a steep nosedive. Okay. I think that's what we're, we need to go. And then we should get Manfang and everyone else. Yeah, let's, let's go, go that back. Way. We'll head back up to where the uh, action is. Okay. Uh, copious Robert Manfang initiative. Dragons come back. <coughs> 11. That's a four. Not as much as mine. I got... Fifteen. Quattro. Uh, copious. Uh, perception check. Uh, fourteen. Uh, you hear the word grease. Uh, and then you also hear thing, thing, thing. Uh, four arrows are coming at you guys at disadvantage. Uh, the person getting arrow two is Murder Hobo. So, Manfang 2, Robert 1, Copious 1. At disadvantage, Copious 19 and 14 plus 2, 16. No. 16, no. Robert. 14 and 1. Uh, you hear a twang as uh, clearly something has snapped. <laughs> 10 and 6 for the first shot. Two and sixteen. These guys are just—they're just shooting shit left and right. You have no—they have no idea where you are. You have no idea where they are. You know you've heard bridge, and copious. You know you've heard the term grease. Uh, I think John Travolta and the other Thunderbirds are who you're fighting right now, just to throw that out there. Uh, Robert, uh, you know that Copious has charged valiantly into battle. And is now somewhere ahead of you. <laughs> what would you like to do first? How about you cast a nice fireball? Am I fireball? able to step out and off to the side just a hair? How about you cast a nice fireball? Or are we like on is. a ledge? You are not on a ledge. You're on a uh, mouth of a cave. Uh, 
go gently into this. Well, night. has he long. has he moved more than sixty I foot away out of my dark? I have dark vision, so I'd know where his shape was. Yes, you will be able to see him at sixty feet. Uh, he appears to be headed towards the bridge. Uh, which... And I have two spells, right? You have two spells. I'm gonna for the next minute. So you... yes. So is there? I want to find a rock near me, mm-hmm. cast light on it, and then I'm going to catapult it. Sure. In the direction where I think they are. At disadvantage, go ahead. All right. How big a rock is it? Please be a one. Please be a one. Uh, <laughs> it is. Sound rock. It's going to hit the bridge. It's about 10 pounds. Five pounds. No, it's 10 pounds. About, about a 10 pound rock. All right, here we go. Boop. And it's a deck save. 17 points coming over. On a lit, it, it the, the rocks, I cast light on it, so. Did you did you have to hit her? It's just a deck save for me. Deck save. So I'll go ahead and advantage on the deck save. 18 and 13. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. I, I think you came close. Uh, but now there's a, a rock with light. Uh, go ahead, uh, D6, 1 to 2, it went off the left side, 3 to 4, it's on the trail with the gnomes, 5 to 6, it went off the right side. And you, you know you know what, 1? And we got to cast uh, magic. Twice. Yeah, I rolled a 1. Okay, yeah, it, it sails into the pit. Your first one is a 2, your second one is a 3. First one's a 2, second one's a 4. Go ahead and roll. Here's where shit gets weird. Oh, it's good. 77. Oh, boy. You say That's up it, near the fireball range. You say it's good. Well, I'm using a different one. Cause, oh, because the I, old one, 72, I think, was fireball. Yeah. You said what? 77. You cast polymorph on yourself. If you fail the saving throw, you turn into a sheep for the spell's oh. duration. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right in front of Felix. Ow! Ow! <laughs> and, and you're on a ledge, so there's nowhere to go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. My saving throw? A little Connolly thing. It's your saving thing. throw. Where the hell's my saving throw at? Just roll the one and forget about it. Ah, uh, just just say you fail. <laughs> just say you failed. You <laughs> know what it is. <laughs> there we go. Maybe Felix. <laughs> Allow 20. me to bring out my Velcro mittens. <laughs> I rolled a nat twenty. Okay, uh, you do not turn you. Briefly feel your nose elongate and then it returns. I got a fuzzy face though. Yeah. Uh, that brings us to. Turn into a whale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, turn into Copious. a blue whale. Copius is going to stop where he's at, especially as he saw that lighted 10 pound stone go flying past his head towards the bridge. Uh, but he is going to try to call out to the gnomes on the bridge in Gnomish. And announce that he is a gnome and say, brethren, wait, it's a misunderstanding. The dragon is dead. And see if they'll stop and respond. Persuasion. Okay. Another arrow comes flying and hits you. I know, right. in the forehead. Uh, persuasion 23. There is silence. And then you hear the word Hold unknown traveler i'm going to call back to robert and say hold because i assume we're still talking in gnomish and say wait they've stopped give me a minute you're telling him that in common right in common yeah okay yeah sure uh man fang you've gotten up brushed yourself off uh what do you want to do gonna arm myself with a bow okay Peacemaker. I think that's the wise choice. Uh, I've tried to make peace this entire time, <sighs> and no one cares. So at this point, I'm just killing everyone. Haggis, Leaf, and Felix, you reach the front of the cavern, and you see Man Fang armed with his bow, trying to zero in on a target. 
What would you like to do? Still going to shoot me in the back. So how far away are these things? Can I see them? Nope. You can't see shit. You can't even see Copious anymore. We didn't hear oh, Copious say peace, though, right? Mm -mm. Man, so, Fang, what's, Man Fang, what's going on? Uh, well, so far, I've been called a dragon, even though I'm wearing a helmet and a turtle shell. I got spider webbed, then fireballed, then they started talking about stuff, and then I lost track. So, the, but they're so if you're telling <laughs> us they're attention. fighting you, right? Is that what you're telling us? You're yes, in they danger. They're fighting. They're evil. I don't like. Man Fang is in danger. Peace. We should shoot them because they're how, fighting Man Fang. How far is it across this bridge? I just want to point out the misunderstanding by saying he's been fireballed. That could be something to do with feelings. That's true. <laughs> Robert, you have. I a, don't have any balls. How, how how far is Might it across this the bridge? One. I'm sorry. How far is it across from here to uh, the other side of the bridge? Uh, you guys went about 300 yards down the steep embankment after okay. the bridge. After the bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Man, Fang, your dad has a joke to share with you once we're off stream. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. More of a derisive comment. Um, uh, <laughs> great. Well, I'm, yes. I didn't get much of an answer from Manfang. Who else is up here? Uh, yeah. Haggis Aspirin and Felix. And chocolate. All we know is that Manfang's in trouble, and we should kill those halflings since Man Manfang's yeah, well, in trouble. I can't. <laughs> Let Let see, go. Uh, I say start one. shooting blindly. Pew, pew, pew. Give me pew, a second pew. here. <laughs> see if we can throw some light on the situation. Yeah, that didn't work so well. <laughs> yeah. Fireball. <laughs> Shit is what it is. Felix is going to keep looking around at these stalactites okay. like one of them has to have gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm right there with okay. you. Huzzah. Huzzah. I've got yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just thought of it. If I hit that guy with that witch's bolt, the next turn I could have just continued to shock him with the witch's bolt. I'm going to. I'm going to. Go think ahead. about that. Yeah. Damn it. Go, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the damage. I'm going to tell... Next uh, round, I'll do it. I'm going to tell uh, Haggis. Uh, Haggis, you have your bow out? Is that... Uh, do I understand correctly? Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell Haggis, let me let me light this arrow, and you shoot it off in the direction that this shit's been coming Found from. copious. Still, found copious. I, I, <laughs> I, could, I could wrap a small piece of linen... <laughs> You don't have to. I can cast light spell on the arrow itself. Okay. Okay. I, and shoot I, it. In a, shoot it in the direction we came from. He aims light. it. At, he aims the drawn arrow at his face. Okay. Bert, no, make this I, light up. I, no. So I'll, I'll cast light on an arrow. Sure. Okay. I he have already, the arrow. He has the yeah. arrow knocked, and he's okay. just aiming at it at his face. Make this at, light up. At, at disadvantage, Haggis. What will I be shooting at? You what? have that, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in particular, just in I'll that point, direction. I want to watch point, closely and see I'll if we can see the where, where they're I, at. Okay, I'll, point I'll to shoot the entrance um, of the cave and tell them to shoot that way. You're going to shoot yeah, what? Okay. Half draw, not a full draw, half draw. Not a half draw, I'm going to slowly shoot, not at the bridge, but above the bridge. Okay, at disadvantage. Yeah. <clears throat> One. Six. <laughs> The other, one, the, hit in the, the other one Copious was a nat 20. Lit up like a Roman candle. The other one was a nat 20, actually. Wow. Uh, Copious, as you have frozen yourself in time, an arrow comes slicing in between your legs. Uh, as it does so, give me a perception check. Uh, 19. You notice that the arrow slows as it goes through a grease sludge uh, that covers the entire bridge. Had you not stopped, the likelihood of you falling off was tremendously high. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your choice was wise. So your little numbish friends left you a present. Uh, back to the top of the order... Uh, three more globes of illumination appear uh, and begin to cross the bridge towards Copius. Uh, are they going to walk through the grease? Or are they <laughs> These are what you call intelligent adventurers. 
<laughs> <laughs> so not us. Got not it. not you guys. Uh, so uh, we haven't rolled initiative, have we? No, uh, myself, Copius, and Manfang did. Uh, yeah, you have Everybody the 11, the 15, and the 4. So Felix, Leaf, and uh, Haggis, give me your rolls, please. 14. 15. Seven, 17. 17 will... Uh, 17 will start. What do you this want to do, Leaf? Three gnomes just appeared carrying globes. Uh, no, 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 no. Three globes appeared dancing lights. I'm going to step in front of Manfang, or whoever it is that's in front of me, so I don't cause them a problem. Boy, are you a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Probably, but got to do what I got to do. Fire, Manfang, fire. I'm, I'm looking for a spell, so give me just one second. Can we still see the arrow, or was it like consumed by the sludge? Or you can, like you can still see it. It's not nearly as bright because it is covered in grease. Okay. Should we fire another one at the ceiling? Knock down a stalactite. Maybe it'll hit. Someone. Yeah, that worked so well the last time. Yeah, he's got a point. Yeah, if it knocks, that's covered by his helmet, head. though. Yeah, I'm I'm safe. I got a helmet. I got a turtle shell. I'm fine. You guys, on the other hand, cover. I stepped in front of him. I'm going to cast Thunderous Wave. <laughs> <laughs> right right at the globes that are coming in. I always knew Ooh. Felix was going to die. How close cave. are they? Ah, <laughs> yes, it was nice seeing you. Uh, they're, they're, you're going to get knocked I, into I, the sludge just, and then just, slide. Where, where out, are they at? I don't even know where they're at. I need to know first before I do this. Two things, Leaf, as you're working your way through this. One, the arrow went between Copius's legs, so the only gnome you see... <laughs> I, I clearly said I was going to step in front of everybody. So if Copius you was there, Copius. you can't step Why? in front of Copius. He's too far away. Uh, I'm like 30, 40 feet ahead of you guys. Well, then I guess I'm not going to do that then. And then the globes are coming across. You okay, the hair right, on the... your ass if you don't cast that on the bridge. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't know you were in front of me. I said I was going to step in front of everybody, and nobody said, but Copius is out there. Well, Not yeah, a soul. That was everybody including else, was on step including you. Was in front of me. That's Copious. all I did. I assumed you were just stepping in front of Manfang. Yeah, that's what it sounds That's like. the people back at the entrance. Yeah, but Copius is all the way up. He, he took off. He was the hero here. You know, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. fix That's stupid here. Home, I so. can't. I can't fix stupid. So no says problem. the guy doing thunderous wave on the bridge. You damn right. <laughs> so you know what? My, I'll tell you what the problem is right now. Those are gnomes out there, and I hate gnomes. You're an exception, Copious, but not really. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's got a point. Well, that being said, then I'm gonna say, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and go explore the cave. Okay. And I'm going to turn around and walk right back in there. You notice Felix is examining stuff. <laughs> yep. Uh, mm -hmm. That leads us to the 15s. Uh, that being Haggis and that being Robert. Did I see where those globes started at? Yeah. General vicinity. Okay. I'm going to throw another uh, rock over there. Into the sludge. Would it be um, separate turns to wrap a cloth around an arrow and light it on fire and then shoot the arrow? And you'll, you'll the, do it at the same time as Robert. And then okay. hit the bridge, light the bridge on fire, and then we can't get back. Well, yeah. no, I'm going to shoot All right. up. Oh, I got to. I rolled so a two not, for, or so three for my down. first right. magic. And a one for my second. Two and four for me, so safe. We're safe. And then 12 points of damage. Two. I, I just, it's a deck safe. What did you cast? Uh, you hear a shriek. So there's a rock over there now. That's lit light. It's got a projecting light. Uh, it looks like it hits somebody. Uh, bounced off. Roll your d6. Four. 
Three. Uh, it's in the middle of the group. Uh, that I get flat. Uh, Haggis, what are you doing? You're going so, up, right? You're exactly the, where that move. rock hit, I'm going to shoot an arrow at. A well, lit fire arrow. You're doing it at the same time he is, so you will not know where that thing lands. You um, don't have that advantage. Okay, yeah, but just where he threw it to. Can I do that? You can, at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> you roll the one? Yeah. Copious! <laughs> hey, uh, am I standing in front or behind of him? It was a 15. Uh, yeah, you what? were standing behind him. Good thing uh, okay. Leaf stepped Good. back. Otherwise, it could have been Leaf or Copious. Instead, uh, Nick shoots his dad. <laughs> <laughs> a fire arrow. Uh, do your damage and have it. Um, well, what about the fire? Would that cause anything? Uh, not unless Copious uh, goes to zero hit points and falls into the grease Whoa. where he will be amoliated. Uh, <laughs> so six. six. He'll damage. be cremated on the spot. And that is halved? Yeah, because it would be 12. Uh, six damage as uh, your Dang. spine is pierced. <laughs> you are now paralyzed from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> At least it did hit the bridge. Think, think about that. You saved the bridge, the rage and So he's had one arrow. <laughs> he saved the bridge. Leg, and the second arrow goes in his back, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't learn your lesson, apparently. He saved the bridge. You're welcome. I'm trying to not <laughs> use hellacious rebuke on Tag. <laughs> I said go for it. Yeah, let's do it. I'd like to say I didn't hit you. All right. Is it Copius's turn? No, it's their turn. And now it is Copius's turn. Are the three globes still circling? The three globes are gone. Did they go out when Robert's Rock went over? They did not. Robert hit somebody else. All right. Copius is going to call out in Gnomish again and, and see if they, he's going to go, hello, hello, and he'll introduce himself. And he's going to say, you may have heard of me. I'm the most famous man in town. I have a local brewery. Here comes the king. Here comes the king. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and he feel like seeing that uh, and see if they respond back. And they, did respond. they did not respond. They did not respond. They did not respond. We we ended all those peace talks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, four Felix. Yeah, Felix wasn't really paying attention, so he kind of looks up after uh, Crapstain shot the arrow, sees a gnome coming at, or a gnome with an arrow in him, and I, might be that's got to be an enemy right there. That's self I'm defense. That's self what defense is going to surmise and give me an intelligence check. Here lies Copious B. Bitter. <laughs> he died as he lived in a cave. Actually, Robert, here lies Copious B. <laughs> well, uh, straight up D20, Copious, B to 12 or suffer the wrath. One. One. You know what? Haggis directly <laughs> identified an invader, man. You need to take Hoggis that bitch the down. <laughs> We got a problem. You can see him <laughs> moving around like a zombie with a flaming arrow in his back. Ah! It does not sound like copious at all. Full damage. <laughs> okay, you're lucky. I haven't been able to hit shit all night. And luckily now. tonight, right now is not an exception. I you're the special six. one. You're so special. You're the first one to get hit by his arrow. If he fumbles, does he shoot one of the gnomes across the bridge? Oh, no. He'll shoot the no. dragon down below. Uh, <laughs> ah, thanks. Copious. <laughs> apparently, your guys are now shooting at <laughs> you. Copious, in a fit of rage, because somebody just shot him up, he's going to pull the flaming arrow out, throw it down on the bridge, and stomp back to smack everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I said in a fit of rage. Yep. So he knows knows <clears throat> what's coming. Ah, uh, hey Felix. That's copious. Hey, that's copious. 
Copious, run! Copious, look out! Ah! He looks pissed. <laughs> and with that, uh, we will call it a day. <laughs> kind of cliffhanger, that thing to let jason's rage boil up and over uh not bad you got some money you got uh you know something special so that's kind of cool uh nick what'd you think i enjoyed the game very good not your companions just the game <laughs> <laughs> no everybody else sucked that, that was very was diplomatic though. of you uh speaking of diplomats <laughs> uh little frankie what'd you think I thought it was great. Uh, I tried to use diplomatic skills, but everybody <laughs> just... I tried to be nice, but everybody keeps shooting me! I don't know what makes me look so menacing. Might know. be that bullseye they painted on that damn shell you were. It, it, yeah. You know what? They're just jealous and screw they are. them. I got this cool helmet, this cool shell. I am always cool. Wow. Middle Frank, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it greatly. I got to throw big boulders, and I, I got some money gems. It was a good game. And you got I didn't kill stuff. anybody. That's the only small disappointment, but I can only blame myself for that. Misfires. Well, you know, a you, lot of money. Yeah, you, you had a shot at Copious. <laughs> I'm the only one that didn't hit Copious. I didn't hit oh, him, but I, I never him. thought about I, it. I I shot three times, and none were near you. I hit a gnome though. Uh, I hit a couple notes. Jason, your defense. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep us from having a war over a bridge. Next thing I know, my own party shoot me in the back. You are a gnome. A gnome. We, got, we got confused. Okay, it's just, it's just a no. misunderstanding. <laughs> oh no, there was no misunderstanding. I, I come on. I, at one point, when Felix came out, I was illuminated because okay. I got shot with a fire <laughs> arrow. So. It, and, and Copious, how would it have been if that would have been a party of, say, humans or Dragonborn? Would <laughs> you, you be have thanking still us. been out there talking to them, or would you have been throwing Eldritch Blasts at them? Exactly. Damn right. Oh, yeah. no. Racist. Me racist. Oh, yeah. racist. Racist. Yeah, racist. I racist. I would have been out right. there talking to them the same Clearly. way. Hey, well, everybody yeah. is a potential customer. Let's see your MAGA hat. Take down those boards from behind you. Let's see your MAGA. Uh, you know, I'm going to need you to fill out the HR slash <laughs> <laughs> Or slash eight would be racism. Oh, uh, Leaf, what'd you think? <laughs> Just what I said. I had one opportunity to kill some numbs, some dumbass got in the way. I'm sorry, there. I'm sorry. You're going to have to be a lot more specific on that one. I'm not uh, sure yeah. what it's... Yeah, we know who it was. Uh, AJ, what'd you think? I, I had a good time, and that illustrates the classic example of why you must always pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, so get off your phones, boys and girls. You got to pay yeah. attention, otherwise, bad things happen. <laughs> Uh, folks, this has been the Margu campaign slash tri-generational. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had a good time. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join the Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like shirts and all that crap, uh, links down at the bottom. Remember, if you want to join us, next Saturday is a one-shot open, uh, and Tuesday is a talk show. So if you want to be on either one of those shows, hit us up, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we'll get you up there and on there. Thank you to Pirate Dog Dice to really hose these guys uh, at Pirate Dog Dice <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, and you know what? Uh, the smell of love is in the air. So uh, check your Adventure Sense listing. Uh, find Hello, some Roy cool Payne. Adventure Sense there. Uh, <laughs> check out their Shine System or how to RPG with our cat. And if you can, help them out at Gen Con for some cash or some moolah or some stuff. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you on Tuesday. Time for the dating game Kiss and Wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. You guys are out.